the CEO of Option Learn Group in Dubai, has been dedicated to discovering large scale event and hybrid technology innovation for 15 years. The company has an office in seven countries around the world, and Sundar himself has been active in major industry exhibitions and forums around the world. So, one more welcome, Mr. Sujay Cherry. Welcome. Thank you. Well, it's been uh, almost two and a half decades in the industry and catering to audiovisual special effects, show design and integration. It's been uh, an interesting journey uh, starting out of India and then setting up our uh, foundation in the Middle East. So we, we have got our headquarters based in Dubai and we're catering to sound like video special effects uh, in the industry as well as uh, a lot of installations in the soft center and uh, commercial. What I thought was probably give you a, a quick video on what we've done over the last decade in the region in Middle East. We have imagined circles and squares. Structures and shapes in space. The world is our canvas. We have imagined, molded, and broken tones. We have challenged and achieved impossible. We have imagined happy faces. We have imagined dreamy eyes. We have imagined satisfied smiles. We have imagined creation. Creation of moments that define milestones. Creation of point of views. Creation of ideas and innovation. Of magical moments. Creation of massive. Creation of grand. There's creation in our every execution. Inspired by your imagination. We imagine. We create. We execute. We transform. So that's a short clip of what we've been doing uh, over, over the decades. And as a technologist, and the focus in, in the industry has always been to innovate and work with manufacturers uh, like we have uh, here in the region to collaborate with us in, in innovating new solutions that cater to the market. It's been my two decades uh, in, in the Middle East, of course, based on Dubai, but catering to the entire GCC, right from UAE, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, uh, Bahrain, Kuwait. But we have right now a big demand because there's been a major splurge when it comes to requirements in the Middle East, especially in the UAE and in Saudi Arabia, when it comes to the scale uh, in line with their ambition towards tourism, as well as uh, entertainment uh, infrastructure that is required to entertain the people that are, that are visiting the nations, besides the people locally. Just to give you a small reference of, of the uh, recent ma massive projects that have been launched in the UAE, one being uh, tagged as the world's most beautiful building, uh, the the Future Museum, all museums in the world is about the past. This museum is about the future. It's about where humanity is going to go, the future of mankind and uh, uh, beyond planet Earth that's uh, traveling uh, you know, uh, into space and so much more. So that's the whole idea of this place. It's filled with a lot of gadgets and a lot of technology and immersive uh, experiences within uh, this place, which obviously there's been a major in, uh, investment uh, even from this region when it comes to supply of, of tech uh, in that space. Same thing with the new Abu Dhabi airport, which has recently opened. There's, there's a huge amount of displays and, and massive manufacturers in LEDs that have been involved in the installations uh, at this airport, including uh, our agency being part of uh, major installations for uh, data centers and security operation command centers, um, as well as the, the World Expo 
which was uh, hosted in Dubai during the pandemic, yet breaking all records when it comes to the number of attendees. It was the largest expo the world has ever seen in terms of uh, infrastructure, technology and integration within a space over a short span of time. The same venue has now been transformed and given new life, which has now become uh, a new destination for, for massive uh, international events uh, and new installations when it comes to the entertainment technology field. So what's in it for the future? In, in UAE, there's, there's a vision uh, by the leadership when it comes to over the next decade and over the next 50 years. It's the centennial vision 2071, where UAE will be celebrating 100 years of existence as uh, the United Arab Emirates. It's got an alignment with government, which, which is pushing uh, all entities to go digital. It's a digital transformation. Uh, there are other initiatives as 10X, which, uh, which pushes entities to push the limits of transforming into digital spaces, which means a big opening for our industry to step in and uh, be part of the integration. But besides that, obviously, security operation command centers, entertainment centers, and uh, multi-purpose venues. Other than that, one of the biggest openings that comes is obviously uh, Saudi. Everybody is talking about the Saudi market. So the Vision 2030 is aligned with a focus on entertainment and tourism. As you've seen in recent years, the number of events that have increased in, in Saudi Arabia is, is phenomenal. It's unprecedented, never seen before. Uh, it's hosting Formula One. It has already won the bid for FIFA World Cup. So the world's biggest football match is going to happen now in, in uh, Saudi in, in the next decade. Um, we also have the seasons, which is uh, the Riyadh season, Jeddah season. All of this is potential for our industry to step into this market with high quality products and services to cater to the people there who are hungry for entertainment and, and technology. So what is it again in the future for, uh, for Saudi? There are major projects, uh, as you must have heard, quite a few of them. And let me tell you, all of them are, are under construction. Uh, many people have this uh, thing that it's all social media and not really happening. Well, projects like this, that's 170 kilometers construction of the line. Uh, which has already started construction. Again, imagine the amount of tech and infrastructure that's going to go in there and it's completely uh, carbon neutral. We're talking about a fully sustainable uh, production. There again, that's the uh, uh, rig resort. So they're converting oil rigs, which have been abandoned into resorts and amusement parks. Again, a huge potential for outdoor displays, technology, entertainment, uh, tech that needs to be fixed in there. One of the world's largest ski resorts, you'll be surprised, in the Middle East. Well, there are weather conditions there that suit uh, those kind of uh, projects and there's several other under the Neom project. I suggest we check it out. So everyone always asks me as a technologist, what is in it for our industry over the next 10 years? I think one of the biggest topics I've been seeing for my travels over the year, from CES in Las Vegas to ISC in Barcelona to ProLine and Sound in Germany and all the big shows around the world, the big topic is artificial intelligence. And what we are consuming today is, is the end user uh, options like chat GPT or image generation and things like that. But AI can be used in so many ways to enhance the way we utilize the power of this uh, tech and the database to create a lot more better experiences and products that can be released in the market today. One of the major things is, is when it comes to uh, uh, how the industries will use it on the back end. So you're talking about um, being able to use AI in, in automation, being able to use AI in quality control, being able to use it in, in speeding up a production line. So, so it's a call out to all big manufacturers and small to look into your investment into this space to see how you could control uh, the quality of the products that are going out of your, man of your manufacturing units to make sure a very high standard is reaching out to the international market so you could live up to the expectations of, of the world-class producers who are looking for world-class equipment. So when it comes to predictive analysis and, and all the data that's being, that's being produced right now, all of this is, is something that could be used even in, in terms of end-user experiences with technologies that are there today. So when it comes to even uh, certain markets and certain installations, there's a big demand for sustainability and what kind of energy efficient products are being used. Again, here using this technology within your lighting systems, within your LED displays, within your audio systems, there are ways to change and monitor to, to have automated systems which could further increase the efficiency and then contribute uh, to the requirements and sustainability. One of the other things uh, for me is, is obviously the integration of AI into end user experiences where it comes to how 
you can pick up information from the person that's engaging with your technology and then help your technology give that data back to the manufacturers to help you improve the efficiency of the output. So, so I think it's the dawn of a new era when it comes to AI integration for the manufacturing supply chain and all of the tech users and consumers. So, so big shout out to everyone uh, to, to embrace uh, the technology rather than putting a block in front of it. And uh, good luck to everybody in the audience here and, and all of our manufacturers and sponsors. And thanks to Getshow for having me here today. And um, those of you who would like to see more on the tech, I've got my own channel, uh, which has all the new and trending tech and everything that uh, I see as, as a futurist, as a technologist. That's my YouTube channel with all the tech shows. And that's my WeChat. We can connect uh, later. And uh, thank you all for having me. All right. Good day. Oh, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.